Welcome back, Sethling here. I built this little guy out of iron uh, in order to demonstrate my new camera slash scanner thingy. Let me just show you how it works. I'll push the button and that'll shoot off a bunch of fireballs. And then when I come back around here, we can see it's taken a picture. So you can see the legs here, the arms and the shoulders, and then the head. The corner pixels are on even though they shouldn't be. Uh, if I push the button over here, we might get those pixels to turn off. Basically, it's like adding more exposure time to the camera. Didn't get it. Third time to charm. Uh, well, we got that pixel in the corner over there. Anyway, uh, it's sort of a picture of our guy. It's, it's pretty good. Obviously, it's only every other line. But, and then um, once all the fire's gone out, or I can just extinguish it using single player commands, I can reset the frame by just flicking the switch on and off. And it's empty now. We can take another picture. I'm just going to take a picture of the same guy. And mm, not perfect. It needs more exposure time, I think. But yeah, pretty close. <laughs> it's not 100% perfect because the fireballs don't fly straight. Let me explain what's going on here. Um, you'll notice when I extinguish the flames, the photograph stays on the frame here onto the projected surface or the scanned surface or whatever you want to call it and so once you understand how this works you'll understand why that happens so when I shoot or when I when I press the button over here it'll shoot off all of these things they're full of a bunch of fire charges and some of those will get blocked by the iron here and some of them will sort of go off course and miss the thing entirely, but but some of them will actually come in here and they'll hit these pistons. The pistons are actually bud switches. Let me let me reset this so I can show you. Flick it off, flick it on. Okay. So the the pistons are actually bud switches. You'll notice there's a line of powered redstone which powers the blocks uh, that are diagonally up into the right of these pistons. The pistons want to be on, but they just haven't had an update and once they receive an update, they will be on. So when those fireballs come over and hit the pistons, it'll cause fire on the block directly behind it, which causes that update, which is going to cause the piston to push the block over this torch, and that will cause the signal to get sent through these repeaters over to the redstone lamp. That's all there is to it. And just flicking the switch on and off will we'll reset uh, all of those bud switches back to their retracted state. Uh, that's, that's, the in, that's the entirety of how it works. It's a fairly simple concept if you're pretty familiar with redstone. And so you can download uh, this little contraption from the link in the video description and play around with it, see if you can understand how it works. Obviously, you're free to use this in your own creations, and I hope you do. hope you let me know if you do. There's, there might be something useful here to some of you, but if not, maybe you just enjoy the video. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.